I just want to introduce a word to you that you're going to hear a bit of throughout the research project, and it's this word of research processes. And these research processes are methods, are ways that you go about finding out. And so one research process is, could be called websites. But of course, there are so many different types of websites, as we've already gone through, that um, you can't just say, well, a research process is looking at websites. You say a research process is looking at government websites or is looking at organizational websites or is looking at um, social media websites, you know, that sort of stuff. So I just want to take you through a few examples just to help you with your, your own stuff. Um, now here's a classic example of an organizational website, uh, change.org. Uh, they're, they're pretty uh, big nowadays, they're pretty influential. They're essentially a website that takes up um, social causes, uh, they fight for, for what they would um, see as justice, and they get people to start petitions and they try and get millions and millions of signatures and whatever. And um, as you can see, they seem to be dealing with a lot of really interesting kind of topics here, you know, um, all of these. And um, they're pretty successful. They've got Look at that. Look at the number of followers they've got. Look at the, the likes they've got. Pretty amazing. Um, but of course, one of the things you've always got to do with any website, especially organizational websites like this, you've just got to try and find out who they are, who's actually started it, who's behind it. And um, so we go to the bottom and have a look. Well, we've got, all right, let's go here, team. Let's just see. And here's their staff. All right. Oh, now, here's the. CEO, Ben Rattray. Um, okay, so that's his kind of mission statement, if you like. Um, and there's obviously like a, a lot of the team. Um, let's just go, woohoo! There's loads of them. Yep, 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 yep. They're all over the place as well. That's quite interesting. Australia, there. Blimey. Like loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of them. And they go on, right? But does this necessarily make them good? Does this necessarily make them legitimate? Let's go back to about and see what else we can kind of find. Now, we are a social enterprise and a certified B corporation. So let's find out what that is. What is a certified B corporation? All right, so it's certified. So it's set up by B Lab, an independent certifying group, all right? So they're certified by this group here. So what is this group here about B Lab? All right, it's a non profit organization, serves a global movement of people using business as a force for good. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So who's set this one up then? Who is the person or people? Let's have a look at the team here. Uh -huh. Co-founders. Co-founders, these guys, share passion for creating a better world through business. They've been friends for over 20 years. Okay, so they're obviously, they have been very successful business people. And so they've set up this organization for certifying businesses. And, and I think making sure that they're kind of transparent. Yes, look at that. And they are held to high standards of social and environmental performance. Oh, so it looks pretty good. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. So we go back to our website here and we go well righty ho um, they look reasonably legitimate and obviously you'd spend longer time going through those and so um, yeah we can probably trust that organization but if you can't trace stuff down you've got to be a bit careful now the government websites can you trust them well government websites are held to tremendous accountability um, they can be sued for a lot of money if they get things wrong um, and they're pretty cautious with any advice they give or any information they load up. 
because they have to have it referenced and they have to have it backed up. So yes, they're pretty reliable on the whole, um, but sometimes they're not as current as they could be because sometimes new research has come out, but it hasn't gone through the government sort of checking and cross-checking process. And so they're not always um, very current, very up to date. Now, some websites, business websites, are really obvious. Like, if you go to the first one here, North Point Toyota, I mean, they sell cars. That's it, you know. But, uh, but some of them, they look like blogs. This one here, if you wanted to go here, essentially looks like a blog, and it looks like personal opinion. But, in fact, it's selling stuff. Uh, but you have to search around a little bit for that one. Educational ones, well, how reliable are they? Well, they should be reliable. And, um, you know, I'd suggest you have a look at the SACE board for all sorts of subjects, not only the research um, project. Um, and, and say, like the, the unis, you know, Uni of Adelaide, Flinders, South Australia, you know, all that stuff. Um, they tend to be pretty, pretty reliable. The articles that they would um, have attached to their websites would be pretty good. Mm. Google Scholar, if you haven't come across Google Scholar here, this is really good for academic studies. Yeah, we'll come back to that at some stage. But if you're looking for scientific studies, Google Scholar is the place to go. Just tap into Google, Google Scholar. Click on Google Scholar, and then that gives you the link. Forums. You see, some people say, well, they're not reliable at all, you know. And of course they're not totally reliable because they are in, they're independent people's opinions. But at the same time, if lots of people think the same thing about something, uh, then possibly you're onto something. So I would really encourage you, if, if it suits your topic, to have a little look at the forums. Uh, blogs. Now, blogs, you know, what we'd do here, we'd check out Stephen Schneider um, and we'd make very uh, certain that he knew what he was talking about in terms of, um, of climate change because there's a lot of people out there sort of putting things forward that you know, they basically don't know what they're talking about. Uh, so you need to check who he is um, to ensure that that blog was reliable. Now you might be saying to yourself, oh well, you know, newspaper articles, they're pretty good, pretty reliable. Well, it all depends. It depends upon the newspaper, it depends upon the reporter, it depends upon the editor. They're a good starting point for various things often. And the good papers, The Age is a pretty good paper, the ABC is a pretty good news agency, uh, CNN, um, it just depends. You've still got to check them out very carefully, basically. And the moral of this story is, is that just don't take any website on face value. Always check, check, check.